Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I'm gonna be trying some products that I haven't had the time to try out. It's going to be another makeup tutorial, so yeah, I'm sorry I keep on doing makeup tutorials. I I know I'm all about makeup, but sometimes I feel like I'm really repetitive with my stuff. I need to be something different, but um, I have nothing to give right now, so I guess another tutorial will do. I actually just finished doing my hair, and I do want to speak about um, how I did my hair because I have a really good product that I want to share with you guys. I just used this flat iron. This flat iron is from Vanity Planet. Ow, it's still hot. This is the Vibe Vibrating Flat Iron. The reason it's called Vibrating Flat Iron is because it actually vibrates. Right here is a little button that you go on and off and then it turns like a little blue light. I don't know if you can see it when it's on, that little blue light. So when you press it down, it vibrates and yeah. And the reason it vibrates is to reduce hair pulling. So you know when you use a strainer and it like yanks your hair and sometimes it even pulls it and you have like a lot of fallout hair. It happens to me a lot when I use my regular strainer and I've been testing this iron out and I'm really reaching towards it because it leaves my hair looking so healthy. So yeah, it does a good job of straining your hair and curling it. So yeah, the iron is available for $60. I know it's a little pricey, but, but don't worry I do have a discount code for you guys I will put it right here and I'll also link it down in the description below if you use my code you can actually get this iron for $30 which is an amazing deal um so yeah I just wanted to get that out of the way because my hair is actually looking really cute now that I talked about that um let's start the tutorial which most of you guys came here for so today I went through um like the makeup the recent makeup that I received and I just got a couple of items that I think I should try out I mean it's nothing big they're just palettes honestly so um I got this package from Wet n Wild the other day this is the Pac-Man collection from Wet n Wild it comes with these eyeshadows a face palette some lip products and then right here are the lipsticks I think I'm gonna go ahead and do one eye like I usually do just to save some time because I've been talking like a shitload and I'm getting tired of myself and I bet you guys are getting tired of me too um I kind of fucked up a lot. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I did not really like this Pac-Man um, palette as much as I thought I would. I added some glitter, which I kind of regret. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm I'm gonna show you guys what I did. Also, if you guys hear background music, um, it's my family, and I really don't want to tell them to shut the fuck up. So I guess I'm just gonna. I guess I'm just gonna deal with it. To prime my eyes, I'm gonna use my Makeup Revolution concealer. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. I feel like this look is one of those looks that you have to wait until the end to put lashes and everything for it to come out good. So the other palette that I'm going to be using, this is the Violet Voss Best Life Palette. I'm going to start off with the shade Peace and I'm going to pack this color right on the outer corner of my eye. And then taking the shade Desert and pack it right next to that first purple shadow. And now I'm taking the shade Ocean Front from this Violet Voss palette and I'm going to pack this right on the inner corner. Now that I have like the colors packed on, I'm going to take some translucent powder and I'm going to set the rest of the concealer in place. That way when I start blending out the colors, it's easier for me to blend them out. So for each shadow, I have like a bigger brush to blend them with. Um, I started off with smaller brush to pack them on, but now I'm moving to like bigger fluffier brushes so I can diffuse the color out more. And since this purple is like more on the cooler side, not so warm, I'm going to take this purple from the palette here um, and just mix those together just so it creates a more warmer purple. I'm actually thinking I'm not doing pink. I'm gonna just like repeat the same thing that I did under my eye and then I'll just fix this one right now. Okay, I don't really have that much products to um, put on my face. So it's just going to be my basic um, face routine. Um, yeah, I look kind of crazy because I don't have lashes on. Just bear with me until I get to the end. I promise I'll look somewhat decent. I'm gonna start with the Wet n Wild Rose Primer Serum. I used this once, but like I totally forgot about it, so I'm gonna like use it again. I have these intense gel highlighters from Zoe Sweets. Um, I just don't know which shade is mine. 
so this gives like a little bit of a glow um it says you can also mix it with your foundation for a more glowy look um i'm not that brave for that so that's all i'm gonna do right now the foundation that i've been using lately is this maybelline superstay foundation To conceal my face, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. To set my face, I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. I'm going to contour my face like I usually do with my Anastasia Bronzer. I went ahead and applied some lashes. These are the Dubai lashes from the Makeup Shack. Now I'm going to blush my face. I'm using my normal blush. This is the Carity Coral Kaboom. For highlighter, I'm going to use my regular um, Anastasia one. I don't want that much of a blinding highlight, so I'm just going to apply a little bit. Okay, so I went ahead and did my lips off camera. Um, I think that is all for today's video. This is how the look looks. Um, it's actually really cute. I really like the eyeshadow. Also, a reminder, if you guys were interested in that flat iron that I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you want to purchase it, everything will be down in the description below. But yeah, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.